Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday and that means week 15. Is it really week 15? I've lost my days. Oh, of course it'll be in the title. I believe it's week 15. Uh, last week I came to you at no um, results, but the day after I posted last week's video, I was able to get on a doctor scale and it was at 173, so I like gained three pounds from 170. Um, and then when I got back home and I weighed myself this morning, 171. So it seems like I'm in this stall between 170 to 173. So today I was 171. I wanted to be at 169 by today, but that's okay. Um, the scale's not that important to me anymore. Okay, so let's uh, start from the beginning. Back in July 2nd of this year, 2015, I went in to Tijuana, Mexico to Dr. Ortiz um, through www.alighterme.com and my starting weight was 220. My highest weight was 245. My starting weight when I started this journey was 220 at pre-up diet. I uh, lost a good significant amount of weight. I was down to 208 by surgery. I am down now to 171. And so I'm very, very, very happy with the way things are going and the progress. I'm actually not that upset about a stall. I was expecting a stall to actually start happening. I was just wondering when. So it seems like my body slowed way down in the 170s, which is fine. I feel absolutely comfortable in my skin. I feel amazing. I feel confident. Uh, I'm dressing up and going out and doing things and when I can. And like tonight we have a softball game for my husband and we're going out. Uh, and I just wanted to look nice. So this is my dress. I'll stand up and show it to you guys in just a minute. But um, I went from a size 18, 20, and then after pre-op diet, I went down to 16, 18. That was my normal, typical uh, size in pants, um, double XL in shirts. And today I am down to size 12. And size 12, about three weeks ago, was very snug on me. I would say about a month ago actually was very snug on me is now starting to be a little bit looser so um, just because I'm not losing the pounds I'm losing the inches so that is very 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 great I am happy that either way it's going either way so um, next week I'm gonna come at you come to you with uh, measurements and uh, we'll we'll do a, a tape measure around my tummy to see what I used to be to what I am now. Um, just so amazing. I'm able to get zip-up boots around my fat calves, what used to be fat calves. Just watch this. I was never able to do this before. See that? Never been able to wear zip-up boots. And I am just so ecstatic to be able to wear zip-up boots. Now, I could talk about weight and feeling good and confident and all that and stuff, but um, it's also a matter of being healthy. I would never felt healthy. I was always sleepy and tired. Well, I am now because um, uh, I'm tired now because of what I'm, what I'm going through through everything. But that's just that just comes with the territory. Look at this bald spot. <sighs> My hair loss is so ridiculously bad. It's so bad. Uh, it's very discouraging for me. I love my hair and I loved how full it was. This part needs to be cut. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Anyway, um, but really quick, I want to talk about mental health when it comes to losing weight. Um, the mental health has a, the brain has a big, big play in your health. Um, all the neg negativity that you soak in throughout your days to um, being depressed and down to, you know, having a stressed life to, and I think 
stepping back, I think that's the reason why I'm at a stall is because I've been in, sitting in the hospital the last two weeks not being active and my body slowed down because I'm not active and stressed out. So um, as, as long as I'm not gaining weight or getting bigger, I'm okay. Um, so like everything mental is, is something that plays a big part and losing weight makes you feel better. And when, when you're feeling so negative and down and depressed, number one, it's going to make you want to eat comfort foods. Um, number two, you lose your enthusiasm to get up and exercise. Number three, you, um, just started, you just start gaining weight out of nowhere for no apparent reason. Number four, it, it, it does such a number on your body being depressed and down and negative and, and being bigger makes that worse. So being unhealthy makes you feel more unhealthy and feel more depressed. So having this mental thing is plays a huge issue in your life. So if you're going to get weight loss surgery, you have to be prepared to mentally work on yourself um, because you can't use food as your comfort anymore. It, it's something that is as a need and necessity, not now as a want or um, a comfort. And it's been, it was playing such a huge part of my life um, for a long time is comfort foods and now that I've lost the weight I am actually feeling so much better I am so much more positive I have more energy throughout the day most days um, I, I just feel good and that was one thing that played on me is my my mental health I had to work a lot a lot I've even had counseling at some times and if if you had weight loss surgery and you're still feeling like Oh my God. Well, I don't want to say it like that. Like, oh, I've not lost any weight. I'm at a stall for three weeks, four weeks, and I'm not going anywhere, and I'm still fat, and I'm still down. You know, it, it, it doesn't help with the weight dropping off. Um, positivity and, and speaking positive things do help with how you feel. And when you, when you feel good, you're going to want to get up and move and exercise or do things the right way. or So the mental health is such a big, huge issue in every single weight loss surgery patient that goes through this. And it messes with your hormones. Weight loss surgery completely messes with your hormones. And you, you, some people are more emotional. Some people are less emotional. Some, you know, it depends on who you are, where you, what your background is, where you came from, and I went through a severe depression state in my t life. Um, I think I spoke about it in one of my early videos before the surgery happened. Um, but don't look at my cat. Don't be chewing on my flowers. That's Figaro. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about this mental health issue. Um, shout out to Cartwheel VSG. Um, as well as Marika and Magnolia, um, all you guys, all my letter M's, you guys have been um, very communicative and keep an update with me and IU, and it's really nice to be able to get to know other people. Before I say goodbye, I just wanted to mention in May, I think it's May, April or May, I can't remember, um, there is a Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America meet and greet where everybody across the country come to meet and Carney Wilson always is there. She's a spokesperson for it. I've been wanting to go to this for like four years now and I may be able to have a chance now to go. And it's in Nashville, Tennessee, I think, or is it in Texas? I will leave the links down below. and. I think if Tink, Sleep for Tink was going to go, we were going to room up. So I might bring a friend with me so we can all split the cost on a hotel. We can all stay in a hotel room together, um, split the cost for that. And then maybe we could split the cost for like the taxi rides or the tickets or something, you know, that um, could help all of us to go. And I have a couple of friends local here who had just got the sleeve as well. So um, I might bring a friend or two so we can all... Uh, you know, share a hotel room with, you know, 
two queen, two king size beds with, you know, I don't know. Anyway, it's just a thought. It's an idea that later down in the future, the description is down in the link below. Um, otherwise, let me do a stand up shot for you guys. Okay, so here's me. Shirt makes me look bigger. Okay, kind of look down a little bit. Me and my little boots. Whoop, whoop. Yep. So that's me, 171 pounds. I've lost all that weight. Thank you. My son helped me, um, held the camera for me. So that's me, 171. I'm so excited. I feel so great, guys. Um, it's good to be here. It's good to be on YouTube. It's good to know you. If you are going to go through a journey and you ha are going to be posting videos, let me know. I will follow your journey as you follow mine. And make sure you leave comments down below. I love to read all your comments. Also, I do daily vlogs every day on YouTube at my other channel, which is Mom's Vlog 80. I'll leave the link for that down below as well. And you guys can watch us every day um, on our journey, our family vlog. And we will see you guys all next Thursday. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao.